I'm Lars Rossen. I chair the core work group in the IT for IT forum. So the core work group is really the one that assembles all the input from all the various other sub work groups that produce input to the standard called IT for IT. So we take that input, we review it, we compile it together and make sure it's all consistent and we then produce the next version of the standard. Reasons why you want to be a member of the core work group. I think first and foremost you can say well you would really be one of the people that has a hand on producing an international standard. So being part of the core team that actually produced the next standard is pretty exciting in and by itself. Then of course you're going to work with some exciting interesting people uh, from around the globe and that should be interesting as well. Um, you will have a lot of reading and discussion to do around what it takes to uh, to get such a standard out in the right kind of quality but at the same time you really deep down learn what the meaning of the standard is so you also get to learn all the input from all the various work groups uh, in a single go so I consider this the most exciting work group really. Yeah, you might wonder what is the difference between the core work group and a lot of the sub work groups that produce content for the next version of the standard and essentially the, the process we have is that uh, when we finish with one version of a standard, we decide what are the topics we want to tackle for the next one. This is something we do as a, as a general community and, and the final decision will be made in the steering committee, not in the core work group, uh, and, and the sub work group will be kicked off. The core will then supervise and, and, and nurse that each of these sub work groups are actually producing the right kind of content and then compile it at the end. Choosing the right group to be in can be complicated and typically what we see is that people are not initially joining the core one but uh, join one of the software groups with some of the more specific technical uh, challenges and produce content there. And once you get to really know how the IT for IT forum is working, you move in and, and participate in core to help actually nurse the final compilation of the standard. I really hope that you uh, like what you heard about the IT for IT forum. I hope that you will come back and join one of the work groups, whatever your talent is. I'm sure there is a work group that can benefit from your talent. So um, see you back. Thank you.